it's US Open time, I'm American and a tennis lover, so I thought it would be fun to look a little bit at tennis players and migration. So if you haven't done so already, you can check out some of the other videos on my channel where I talk about some specific immigrant uh, professional tennis players, but today I'm going to specifically talk about second generation immigrant tennis players. So in the world of migration studies, when we talk about second generation, we're talking about the children of immigrants, all right? So here we're going to talk about the professional tennis players who have parents that have immigrated from abroad. My name is Melissa Siegel, I'm a professor of migration studies, and this is a channel about all things migration. And I wanna start off with looking at Layla Fernandez. So Layla Fernandez is a women's professional tennis player who plays for Canada. And her parents have a very interesting immigrant story. So Layla Fernandez kind of burst onto the scene last year when she made it to the semifinals of the US Open, where she was defeated by Emma Raducanu, who I also have a video on. If you're interested, you can also check that out here. But uh, Layla has a really interesting story. So she's still a teenager. Her father is actually originally from Ecuador. So he moved from Ecuador with his family to Canada when he was a child. And he was also a professional soccer player who played all over Latin America. Now her mother also has an interesting backstory. Her mother is Canadian, but is from a Filipino background. So her mother's family actually comes from the Philippines. So quite an interesting story there, interesting Im immigrant story. And Layla has multiple times talked about her immigrant family story and how much she also credits the, how much she actually credits Canada with giving her family a home. So another interesting Canadian professional tennis player is Bianca Andrescu, who actually also won the US Open. And her parents are originally from Romania. So having an another really interesting uh, immigrant story there, her parents moved from Romania in 1994. Now, probably one of the most famous female tennis players at the moment is Naomi Osaka. Now, Naomi Osaka currently lives in the United States, but her mother is originally from Japan and her father is originally from Haiti. Now, she did grow up part of her life in Japan in her really, really uh, early younger days, but she's grown up now most of her life in the United States with you know immigrant parents. So with a parent from Japan and a parent from Haiti. So very interesting, multicultural, multi-ethnic background there. And she's also been very vocal and very open about her background. Um, Naomi though actually does play for Japan currently and has Japanese citizenship. Now, if we move over to the men's side of the professional tennis tour, we can look at, a, at another Canadian tennis player, Felix Ogier-Lassim, whose father is originally from Togo in West Africa. And his father moved to Quebec, and that is where Felix was born and grew up. Felix has an interesting immigrant background. He's made it also to the top 10. He's still a young and very promising tennis player that I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of. Now, maybe we should actually not only look at Canada and North America, but let's turn to Europe. So an interesting case here is Alexander Zverev or Sasha Zverev, as he's often known on the tennis tour. So Sasha Zverev is a very promising German tennis player who actually won the, the gold medal at the last Olympics in Tokyo for tennis and he has reached a career high of world number two. Now he's currently out with injury, but we hope to see him back soon. Now, what's his interesting story? So Alexander Zverev's parents are actually originally from Russia. He also has an older brother who was born in Russia and was also a um, professional tennis player for Germany also. So very interesting you know, migration stories there. And what's also interesting is that a lot of these uh, immigrant parents have actually coached their children. Some of them came from a tennis background themselves, others, others didn't, but several of these um, second generation immigrants have really, um, have spoken before about their immigrant backgrounds and have even credited their immigrant backgrounds with instilling in them 
hard work and discipline and, and suffering to some extent. So for example, Felix Ojalazim um, in a 2019 interview with The New Yorker credited the immigrant mentality for his worth, work ethic and also by extension the promising results that he, he and others have also seen in Canadian tennis, for example. Now, uh, um, I'm not the only one who is interested in tennis and immigration backgrounds. Um, a lot of this information came from uh, uh, an interesting blog by Marco Amaro um, on the Tennis Pal blog. I'll make sure to link it in the description below as well as uh, a few other stories on this topic in case you're interested. Now, if you found this video interesting and useful, of course, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we upload every week on different migration issues. And at the same time, if you know of other immigrant tennis players or second generation tennis players that are killing it on the tour nowadays, make sure to comment down below, let us know who those are and check out my other videos where I will talk about Denis Shapovalov, another Canadian tennis player and Cameron Norrie, a British tennis player who both also have immigrant backgrounds. And if you haven't done so already, check out my other video on Emirata Kanu and I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.